My dear respected viewers of Madani Shira, we once again welcome you in our program, Background of Quranic Revelations. In this program, we select one ayah of Quran and we talk about its background. We talk about the accounts uh, relevant to this ayah what was the reason of its nuzul, alhamdulillah, that is what is discussed. And not only that, the uh, Islamic rulings or uh, whatever message that particular ayah contains, we also discuss that. Be with us from start till end, inshallah, you'll be learning a lot. But before we proceed towards our topic of the day, let's make few good intentions. My Shaykh Tariqat, Amir of Ahl Sunnah, Hazrat Allama Maulana Muhammad, Ilyas Attar Qadri. Daman Barakatuhumul Ali has given us a beautiful mindset. He has given us the mindset to make good intentions. I make this intention, inshallah, I will present this program for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can make this intention that whatever you listen, You'll remember, you'll listen with utmost concentration, and you'll pass this knowledge on to others too, insha'Allah, azza wa jal. Today we have selected an ayah of Qur'an, verse 89 from Surah Al-Baqarah. Let's uh, find out what message it has and what is its background, suburb of Nuzul also. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Holy Qur'an, Surah Baqarah, verse 89, وَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ كِتَابٌ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ مُصَدِّقٌ لِمَا مَعْهُمْ وَكَانُوا مِنْ قَبْلُ يَسْتَفْتِحُونَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا فَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ مَا عَرَفُوا كَفَرُوا بِهِ Translation from Kanzul Iman. And when that book of Allah, i.e. the Quran, came to them, verifying the book that is with them, i.e. Torah. And previously they used to ask for victory over the disbelievers through the medium of the very same Prophet, i.e. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hence, when that known and recognized one, i.e. the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, came to them, they rejected him. Allah's curse henceforth be upon those who reject. Respecting viewers of Madani Shal, this is the ayah of Holy Quran 89, Surah Al-Baqarah. You've heard the translation. Respecting viewers, when was this ayah revealed what is its background let's find out before the arrival of imam al anbiya sayyidina rasulullah alayhi salatu was salam disbelievers they used to supplicate through the medium of our beloved prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam even before the arrival of imam al anbiya our beloved prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam and even before the nuzul of quran before the revelation of the holy quran it was the practice of jews the non believers they used to supplicate with the wasila of ummi nabi sayyidina rasulullah alayhi salatu was salam Whenever they wanted victory, they used to make dua with the wasila through the medium of Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam. And they would get victorious too. And the dua they used to make, it is mentioned in tafsir al-Kabir, O oh Allah, through the medium, blessed medium of Ummi Nabi, meaning Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, make us victorious. This was the dua they used to make for the victory through the wasila, through the blessed medium of our beloved Prophet Sayyidina Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. And when the same Prophet 
our beloved Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam, final Prophet, Imam al Anbiya, arrived in this world and announced his prophethood. That was the moment when those non-believers who used to make dua through the wasila of Ummi Nabi, they rejected the prophethood of Rasulullah They did not embrace Islam. And this is when this very ayah of Quran was revealed. And it is told that you were the ones you used to make dua, you used to supplicate in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the wasila of Ummi Nabi. And now this Prophet والسلام, has come and announced the prophethood and now you are rejecting. And then further, respected viewers of Madani Shail, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also mentioned the curse upon those. They are the ones who are rejecting this. Respecting viewers, there is one another important, beautiful point what we learn that even before the arrival of our beloved Prophet in this world, the dua was made in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through his blessed medium, through the wasila of Rasulullah People, they used to supplicate in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even before the arrival of Rasul alayhi salatu wa salam. And they used to get their du'as accepted. And they were helped by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Respective viewers, this uh, practice, this remained, continued even after the arrival of Rasul alayhi salatu wa salam in this world. And Sahaba ikram alim ridwan, they used to practice the same way. Even Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam himself taught sahaba ikram to supplicate in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through his own blessed medium, through his own blessed wasila. Sayyidina Uthman bin Hunayf radiallahu ta'ala an has narrated that a blind companion presented himself before the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. The intercessor of Ummah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and said, please pray to Allah azza wa jal for my relief. The Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, if you want, I can pray for you and if you just bear with it, meaning with blindness, patiently it would be better for you. The companion requested for dua. He was then instructed to make wudu properly and perform to rak'at salah, then recite the following dua. What was the dua? Subhanallah, I'm going to recite this. And respect you, who is asking a sahabi? From whom is he asking and requesting to Sayyiduna Rasulullah alayhi salatu was salam? And Aqa alayhi salatu was salam, our beloved Prophet alayhi salatu was salam is teaching this dua. Allahu Akbar. And what are the meanings of this dua? We will know inshallah when we find out what was the dua Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam taught to a sahabi rasul. And this is the dua which contains seeking wasila, which contains making the blessed Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam as a blessed medium in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while making dua. It is mentioned, Allahumma inni as'aluka atawassalu wa atawajjahu ilayka bi nabiyyika Muhammadin nabiyyir rahmah. Ya Muhammad, inni tawajjahtu bika ila rabbi fi hajati hadhihi lituqdali. Allahumma fashafi'ahu fi. Subhanallah. What are the meanings? O Allah Azza wa Jal, I implore you and put forward a wasila intermediary and am heedful of you by means of your Prophet who is the blessed Prophet. Ya Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. I'm attentive towards my Rabb for my needs to be satisfied by the wasila of my blessed Prophet. O oh Allah Azza wa Jal, grant this intercession in my favor. Sayyidina Uthman bin Hunayf radiallahu ta'ala and said, Before Allah, I swear, we were still having a conversation and did not leave. Then he radiallahu ta'ala and came to us and looked as if he were never blind. 
Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah. So respect the viewers of Madani Shannon. Before the arrival of Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam, people they used to make dua. Even non-believers they used to make dua. Ahl kitab In the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with the wasila of Ummi Nabi, we heard from the shani nuzul, sabab of nuzul of this very verse we are talking about today. And we also heard this practice of making wasila of Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam in the time of Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam was the practice of Sahaba Kiram. Not only that, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam himself taught Sahaba Kiram to supplicate in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through his own blessed medium, through his own wasila. And alhamdulillah, this practice then continued even after the blessed departure of Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam from this mortal world. Time does not permit, but there are various narrations which can be presented in support of this uh, subhanallah point. Respected viewers, Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam's wasila is such a great wasila. When you make that wasila in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then du'as are accepted. No doubt du'as are accepted. Because we love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And we heard even if ahl kitab they used to make du'a through the wasila of Ummi Nabi, then we are in the ummah of Rasul alayhi salatu wa salam when we will make dua in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the blessed wasila of Rasul alayhi salatu wa salam. So definitely our duas will be accepted. And remember ulama they have mentioned a beautiful point. Sometimes shaitan whispers that whether it is allowed to make wasila or not. If it was not allowed, how come is it possible that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam taught it? to Sahabi Rasul, he then implemented, acted upon, and he got relief from blindness. So Alhamdulillah, we learned about a beautiful a sabab of Nuzul, reason of the revelation of Ayah 89 Surah Al-Baqarah today, and we heard some Madani pearls about the Vasilatu. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us ability to learn and act upon the teachings of Holy Quran. Ameen, Mijahin Nabil, Ameen. That's all for today. We'll be back with another beautiful episode until then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.